Hi friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Live. Welcome to my March TBR. It is mostly going to be book club related and middle grade March focused. I do have one book that is kind of a, a, a hang on from February because I just started at the very end of February. Um, I'm reading and listening to the audiobook of Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Um, I'm very early on in it. Well, yeah, I'm very early on in it, about 45 pages or so, but it's going well so far. So our main character, Enchanted Jones, is a high school student, up and coming singer, and she ends up kind of by chance meeting this like famous singer guy. So it seems like he's modeled after kind of Justin Bieber. And from the very beginning, we know that she wakes up to bloody hands and he is dead. And so it's kind of the mystery of how did she get into that situation? Who actually killed him? What's his name? Who killed Corey Fields? This was my one and only book for Black History Month, which is really odd for me. And I didn't even start it until like the 25th or 26th. I don't have the dust jacket for this one, but for my nonfiction book club, we are reading Lady Parts by Deborah Copacon. This is a memoir and it's about her, kind of her marriage falling apart, but mostly about her body falling apart. Her marriage falling apart just happens to, happens to happen at the same time as her body really falling apart. The beginning is quite graphic, describing some troubles she had with her lady parts. It's right now, I meant, see, I'm, I'm on page 139 and it is pretty rough. Like I'm, I'm, I'm stressed for her, the financial stress particularly that she's under right now. So it's very effective, very evocative writing. Um, it's just, it's a lot to go through. So I'm finding I need, there are parts of this, it's like super readable and I'm like, I, I'm zipping through it. And then there are other parts of it when particularly things are going terribly wrong in her life that I just need like a break. So I took a break from this this morning because I couldn't handle the stress. Then uh, March of the Mammoths. It's just, it just happens, it's just a coincidence that it is March and I am reading Middle March by George Eliot for my fiction. Uh, I guess it's not a fiction book club. We we mostly read fiction. My other book club. Um, so I am early on in this. I'm on page 57, chapter six in this physically. I had listened to chapter through chapter 12 or to chapter 12 on audiobook and it just wasn't sticking with me. So um, now it's going much better. I feel like I'm much more into the language, into George Eliot's language, and I'm understanding it better. So I might end up kind of doing a back and forth audio and physical book, but this is going a lot better. I just hope I don't know when my book club meeting is. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to get through it in time for the book for book club. So I may end up having to go the audiobook route, hoping I can actually pay attention to it this time. So now it's time for the middle grade, the middle grade stuff. So I'm somewhat following the prompts, not really. It's just kind of the books I wanted, um, but I'll mention if there is if if it's if it does cover a prompt. So a book that I've had on my shelf for uh, several years and was kindly sent to me by the author. Um, the author knows my dad and she knows of me, but I've never met her. This is Janine Kellogg's The Tuker's Journey. And this is um, a sign to me and everything. And it's a really short synopsis. The journey follows you until you follow it. Siblings Mitch, Tony, and Jovi discover a centuries long battle to stop mysterious creature, creatures called Gresniks from blowing up earth and shattering life to bits but will they have the courage to join the battle? Interesting that life is capitalized on the back. So I'm, that's interesting. And I don't know if Gresniks are, is this fantasy They're, or or could it be sci-fi? Um, are these Gresniks actually creatures or are they like mechanical sci-fi type thing? So if, they, if it was, then that would satisfy the sci-fi prompt. Then um, satisfying everything but the sci-fi is Wild Oak by C.C. C. C. Harrington. This is a beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, I saw Krista uh, talking about this, I think, on a live recently. And our main character, Maggie, stutters. And her dad wants her sent her away to get some treatment. And her mom has an alternative. And I think it's like sending her to the woods to her grandpa or something like that. The Wild Oak Forest and she encounters a, I think it's like a snow leopard, a snow leopard cub and an exotic uh, snow. She encountered a snow leopard cub 
and maybe they heal each other or something like that. Um, beautiful, beautiful book on the back. On the back it says, everything speaks just not the same language. I think this is going to be really interesting for me in particular because I actually used to be a speech therapist. So I studied stuttering or fluency as we call it and I'd never actually worked with anybody who had a stutter but that part part of that might be interesting for me in particular. Another book that's been sitting on my shelf for years is uh, the girl who circumnavigated the girl who circumnavigated fairyland in a ship of her own making. Um, we have sky in the background, and this is by Catherine M. Valenti. And this like this girl September gets invited to fairyland by a green wind and a leopard, and I imagine she's gonna go have adventures and to circumnavigate fairyland. One would suppose. And then finally, I have Amari and the Great Game. This is the sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers. Amari is our main character and in the first book she discovers basically that she's magical. She's a leopard person, her brother's been hiding kind of this stuff from her and she kind of gets brought into this whole another world and has this new kind of found family in uh, in this magical school that she ends up going to. Um, I honestly, I need to, if I either I'll listen to it on audiobook, the original Amari and the Night Brothers or just kind of like read a synopsis just to kind of remind myself of kind of where we ended up in the in the previous book before I start this one. But um, looking forward to this and I've been saving this for, I got it really cheap at Sam's Club, like 12 bucks and, uh, and I've been waiting for middle grade March to read it. This is my first like TBR video and like full TBR, like stack of books that I've really intended on reading in a month in a long time. So these are the books, haven't done this in a, quite a while. These are the books I'm planning to read in March. Love to know if you're participating in March of the Mammoth, in Mammoth March, the Irish Readathon. Oh, I happen to be wearing Kelly Green today. That was actually full on an accident. Thank you for watching. Remember, every day is a great day for a great day, all day. Mm -hmm.